The place where I stand is the northwest border. In the vast air front, flying leopards rush to the blue sky every day to carry out various types of practical training. They are the indispensable force of sharp swords in the sky of the motherland. Looking forward to flying leopards that will last forever, and fly high. I hope the flying leopard spirit inspires China's aviation industry to reach new heights. Behind me is the latest JH-7A. It is 6 meters high and more than 20 meters long. It can carry many types of weapons and ammunition. JH-7A It is one of the few domestic fighters that can mount air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, air-to-ship missiles, and laser-guided bombs, etc. It can also carry out air combat when necessary. It is indispensable in actual combat against ships in the air, ground attacks, and electronic warfare attacks. Can you tell us about these weapons and how to use them in actual combat? The first thing that catches the eye is a wide range of conventional ammunition, including aerial bombs, aircraft missiles, and aircraft guns. We choose different ammunition according to the different attributes of the targets. Aerial bombs are mainly used to attack large targets on the ground, such as airport runways or various warehouses, or oil fields, and ammunition depots. Aerial rockets are mainly used to attack small and medium-sized targets, such as armored vehicles and tanks. The cannon is mainly used to attack the concentrated firepower point, or to conduct some necessary self-defense air combat. Next, let's take a look at the precision-guided munitions that can be mounted on the JH-7A. Are all around here precision-guided weapons? Yes, let's look at this first. This is an air-to-surface missile. It has the ability to strike outside the defense zone. It is a weapon for middle-range action. It can carry out precision strikes against the enemy's deep combat and tactical targets, and guarantee the safety of air assault troops to the utmost extent. Next, let's take a look at this ammunition hanging on the plane. This is a laser-guided bomb. It mainly receives the laser signal emitted by the aiming pod and then flies toward the target accurately according to the guidance of the diffuse reflection signal until the target is destroyed. Speaking of this laser-guided bomb, I have to mention this day and night aiming pod. The pod is an airborne optoelectric device integrating TV, infrared and laser. So the laser-guided bomb and the aiming pod are coordinated with each other. Yes, this day and night aiming pod is equivalent to the eyes of a laser bomb. As the only domestically made fighter bomber, the biggest secret for the Flying Leopards to stay young is to continuously improve its weapon system and keep up with the trend in key technologies. There are many types of weapons and large ammunition capacity, which are the salient features of Flying Leopard. It can mount air-to-air -air missiles used for air superiority operations and can also carry a variety of powerful weapons such as air-to-surface missiles, air-to-ship guided missiles, aerial bombs, and aerial rockets perform multi-batch and multi-directional large-scale volleys on ground and sea targets, perform saturation attacks on the target system. At the beginning of the 21st century, the development of a new flying leopard was put on the agenda. That was the JH-7A. However, the prescribed development cycle is only half of the conventional schedule. The high requirements of the aircraft's fighter performance indicators and the large technological leaps are unprecedented for the development department. The aviators broke the convention again, adopted the most advanced computer 3D design technology in the world at that time, and made breakthrough progress in comprehensive avionics design. Inspired by the spirit of the Flying Leopard, the Flying Leopard fighter bomber was equipped with a brand new brain and nervous system and the integrated avionics fire control system was fully upgraded, and the technology reached the third-generation fighter standard. The new Pulse Doppler radar is equipped with a stronger search capability for ground and water targets. The new Flying Leopard can not only be adapted to anti-radiation missiles and guided bombs, but can also mount the Eagle Strike 88 medium-range air-to-surface missiles and the Eagle Strike 83K anti-ship missiles. Its combat capabilities have been comprehensively improved and become the Air and Navy Force's general platform adapted to the new era of combat. Flying Leopard's powerful mounting capabilities have transformed it from a traditional fighter bomber into a combat platform that integrates firepower strikes and electronic attacks, making it stand out in the information eyes battlefield.
It can destroy all kinds of combat and tactical targets with powerful and precise firepower, and can also use electronic attacks to soft kill, blindly suppressing the enemy's air defense system in the invisible electromagnetic spectrum space. It provides accompanying cover for the air assault force and opens up a safe penetration. As a sustainable aircraft platform, the ever-increasing combat effectiveness has given the Flying Leopard the unshakable status of the main fighter. Its true strength has also been famous in the international arena many times. In the 2018 aviation darts of the international military competition, Chinese and foreign elite equipment competed on the same stage. In the fighter-bomber crew competition, the Flying Leopard defeated the Russian ace fighter Su-34 and won the championship. This is the second consecutive year that the Flying Leopard has won the first place in the fighter-bomber group. In addition to the large number and various types of airborne weapons it can carry, the JH-7A is also with great performance in air. This is closely related to its structural appearance and aerodynamic layout. From the outside, it uses an arc-shaped windshield and a stringed two-cockpit layout. A very large wing is very cool. It uses air intakes on both sides and a swept upper single wing. Coupled with the vertical tail of the swept-back double pelvic fin structure, it has very good stability in low-altitude flight. It is a fighter that emphasizes ground attack capabilities, so it also places great emphasis on the pilot's ground vision. The fighter nose has a certain angle of inclination. The tasks carried out between the front and rear cabins are different. The pilot in the front cabin is mainly responsible for flying and fighting in the air. The pilot in the rear cabin is mainly responsible for the management, use and launch of weapons. Its battlefield combat effectiveness has been greatly improved. The HUD in front of me can display the map obtained from the radar, the target images and the overall situation of the battlefield. This also strengthens the pilot's overall situational awareness. At the same time, its radar has more than 10 different modes such as air, ground, sea, and auxiliary navigation. Flying Leopard's overall combat capabilities can be seen through very powerful weapons ranging from weapon mounting to aerodynamic layout to avionics system. As an efficient, reliable and technologically advanced tactical platform, JH-7A has played an irreplaceable role for the PLA Air Force, which is undergoing strategic transformation, to improve its ground strike capability under modern warfare. Because JH-7A itself has a strong ability to switch tasks, it can adapt to different ground attack missions just by mounting different airborne weapons. In addition to basic ground attack operations, its significance to the Air Force's aviation is also that it has unprecedented cross-branch combat capabilities. Therefore, it is still one of the reliable main tactical attack aircraft of our Air Force. Since the Flying Leopard had been upgraded, we have gone to the plateau, fought in the desert, and flew to the open sea, and withstood a number of tasks. The troops' penetration and assault capabilities have been steadily improved. Continuously strengthen actual case-based confrontation training, strengthen emergency response, specialize in refining and matching the battlefield. Not only do we have to overcome the shortcomings in tactical actions, but also challenge ourselves to overcome external interference when penetrating defenses at ultra-low altitudes over the sea. There are many ships on board. When we use surface ships to evade radar searches, although they fly very low, they cannot fly too low. Based on the combat characteristics of fighter bombers, this brigade relies on airborne early warning aircraft guidance in joint operations, and combat training under strong electromagnetic interference conditions maximizes the performance of fighter bombers. In the past, pilots mainly relied on the command and guidance of the command post to complete the identification and attack of the target. After using the new syllabus, pilots will more autonomously complete the search, identification and strike of targets based on the situational information provided by the integrated command platform and airborne early warning aircraft. It makes JH-7A far more effective in the battlefield. Bombarding the target. Afterwards, the fighters once again established attack routes to attack targets at sea. After the first round of strike, the air defense firepower network. 
。首轮打击过后，多批战机遭敌防空火力网封锁，战机编队立即超低空掠海飞行，隐蔽抵近目标海域。成功突防后，战机编队立即对海上目标进行轮番打击。The brigade carried out theoretical explanations, lectures by experts, cockpit practice. 这一旅针对实弹训练，出动飞机架次多、训练强度大、危险系数高的特点，分段进行了理论讲解、专家授课、座舱实习、技术演练等地面准备工作，同时还根据飞行员特点制定个性化的飞行计划。李导弹，李导弹，李导弹，一分钟，一分钟，一分钟。Yeah. 